Now also joining us tonight is Thaddeus Cleveland. He's the sheriff of Terrell County, Texas, which is also a border county just over three hours northwest of Eagle Pass and a former Border Patrol agent for years. We appreciate you joining us. The mayor of Eagle Pass, Texas, a place that's been in focus as of late, has declared a state of emergency because of a, quote, severe undocumented immigrant surge. Several other sectors are seeing something similar, and the Defense Department is even stepping up resources. What is the reality on the ground? You know, it's exactly what which articulated at the beginning part of the segment. Um, this is nothing new. Over the last two years, we've seen a tremendous increase in illegal crossings here in not just my county, but across the southwest border. Um, I'll tell you what, um, it's I, I hate to pit one administration against the next, but I worked in the Border Patrol for 26 years under President Clinton, under President Bush, under President Obama, under President Trump, and now I, I work for a year and a half under President Biden, and it's never been this bad. Mm. Moving away from the border for just a moment, we mentioned the Biden administration. They just announced half a million Venezuelans already in the U.S. will get work permits through TPS or temporary protected status. This is something folks like New York City Mayor Eric Adams has asked for, seeing that they're dealing with their own issues. But the White House has been arguing if you give work permits, it creates a bigger draw for migrants. Is this an attempt at solving an issue but creating another one? What are your thoughts? You know Th that's exactly it. I, I tell you what, once you announce that you're going to be um, granting that temporary protective status and extending it and giving work permits, that's going to create a, a bigger draw. More people are going to continue to come to the country. They're going to they're going to line up at our, at our borders, at our ports of entry and, and continue to come in illegally. Um, we need to solve this problem. It's a solvable problem, as I often say. But it begins with the president of the United States telling the rest of the world, you're not going to come to our country illegally. And we need to bring back um, programs that worked under President Trump. We used the Migrant Protection Protocol. That's the MPP or the Remain in Mexico. A program, if we were to bring it back, a program like that would solve this almost overnight. Hasn't the administration already said, hey, you know, do not come here. The border is closed. I mean, they've made sure to put that messaging out there. You say more needs to be done. Am, am I getting this right? You're right. So really, they haven't said that. They may be saying that in, in certain interviews and in certain sound bites. But the reality is uh, the world knows that our borders are open. They know that if you cross into the United States illegally and you're not from Mexico, you're going to be allowed into our country. Those that are from Mexico, when we catch them and apprehend them, my my department specifically, we turn them over to Border Patrol. Border Patrol will take them I back wanna, to Mexico. I want to take them. But if they're from a different take country. And address something here. If, if you don't mind, you, you mentioned that the, that the borders are open. I mean, what's, what, what evidence is there that the borders are more open now than they have been before when, you know, the Biden administration has, has set records for expulsions? Um, what, I mean, what exactly do you mean when you say that there are open borders? And where's the evidence of that? Hey, great question. And when, they, when they've said they've set the record in expulsions, that's because we were under Title 42 for the first two years of their administration. And when you send somebody back to Mexico, and, and at that time we could send anybody from Mexico or a contiguous country, so it's Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, they were expulsed. So, yes, those numbers were, were, were larger. But, but don't be caught up by the numbers. Um, I can tell you I, I grew up on the border in this exact town, this exact county. I was a Border Patrol agent for 26 years. We've had control of the border. And as I mentioned, those first four previous presidents prior to President Biden, they all progressed border security. We got it up to the, the safest, most secure border we, we've ever had um, under President Trump. And with that being said, when this administration took over, it took them a matter of six months to completely deconstruct everything we had done at the border to, to accomplish the most safest and secure border. So now we're seeing greater numbers, both illegally, these asylum claims, they're also the they're not true asylum claims. They're false asylum claims, and the vast majority of those people won't be approved for an asylum case. I want to make sure that we we spend a, a bit more time on this, but we've run out of time so far this evening. Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland with Terrell County, Texas, thank you so much for giving us your expertise and some of your observations. We appreciate it. A live look at Capitol Hill.